بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد After hearing all these signs, we should have more yaqeen in the words of janab Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If these things are unfolding in front of our very eyes, then the unfolding of death, the unfolding of qabr, the unfolding of qiyamah, the unfolding of all the situations, وَمَا يَنْذِكُ عَنِ الْهَوَىٰ إِنْ هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيُ يُوحَىٰ The words of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam are true. It is wahi, it is revelation. The little that has been explained now is just the tip of the iceberg. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his ilm knows how difficult and what the trials will actually be. But as a believer, we need to be making adequate preparation. Although it seems insignificant and people will just pass it by and they will say, yeah, okay, let's see, we'll manage it. But we can really understand that if we have all the technology of today, and we have all the information of today and it's written in his for, on his forehead kafir and it is so apparent if the jal has to come just circulate it tell it what he is the jal and you sort it out it's not going to be as easy easier said than done it seems to be very easy just to understand all the people that are involved in music write them off all the people that are involved and addicted to all the different sins and masyad, addicted to pornography, addicted to television. Count them out. So if my Nabi has said this is haram, that is forbidden, we cannot stop from it now, then how when Dajjal will come, where his fitness will be magnified? These are small, insignificant, easy trials comparatively to the coming of Dajjal. Just to understand that, if um, a person is staying out of the city in a beautiful scenic area and he has all the luxuries and comforts and somebody tells him that one day you're seen outside your garden, your greenery, everything will be removed one day. Then the chirping of the birds, the animals etc. will be wiped out, your forest will be wiped out, everything will be dis disappear. Eventually you'll see barren land, but be careful because the coming of this year is such, it will produce something that will make you think so you're in another world. You will feel like you're on top of the world. You'll have a euphoria. You'll think this is the best thing that has ever happened to you. But in actual fact, this enjoyment, this pleasure is destruction for you, for your family and everything that you own. It's the end of everything. So they say after the barren land, you will see now greenery come again. You will see bulbs. Then you will see petals of different colors, bright red, yellow, pink, white. And the result after that will be destruction. So it doesn't make sense to you, you brush it off. Then one day you see your forest slowly disappearing. You see the animals disappearing. You stop hearing the chirping of the birds. Then the scene in front of you is barren land. It's unfolded. It's in front of you. Then greenery comes, then bulbs come, then the bright yellow, pink, white, red petals come. And then you are offered the poppy seed, the opium. You consume it, you become intoxicated. It destroys you, it destroys your family, it destroyed every form of happiness that you ever had. Although you feel you're on top of the world and you have everything like that, Janabi Rasulullah sallallahu has forecasted and has warned us of all these fitan that are going to come. It was outside before you had to go outside and commit the guna. Now they bring in the sun in your houses and it's clear it's been explained to us. It's in your houses, it's at your doorstep, it's in front of you. The day it comes in your house, you must remember it has come in your heart. It's going to take control over you. 
continue with the narration. Hazrat Umar radiallahu asked Sahaba about the fitnas. Sahaba brushed it off and said, It is Innama amwalukum wa auladukum fitna. That like how a person is caught up with his wife, his children, his business, he does not strive and sacrifice for Allah how he should. Hazrat Umar said, I'm not talking about that. That's a small fitna. I am talking about the great fitna. What great fitna? Al fitan al tamuju mawj al bahri. Like how the waves of the ocean come, overwhelm you. Firstly, perpetually, and secondly, in tsunamis. So once tsunami comes, a person manages with difficulty and hardship to survive. Just as he thinks so, he's out of the problem. 5,000 people of his city, 2,000 dead, 3,000 survived, another wave comes. Few wiped out, they think so, they've survived, another wave. Wave upon, upon wave upon wave, perpetually, incessantly. Sahaba, then Hazrat Huzaifa radiallahu anhu said, I heard the Nabi of Allah say, تُعْرَضُ الْفِتَنُ عَلَى الْقُلُوبِ Fitnas will be presented to the hearts. Fitnas will be presented. تُعْرَضُ Let us look at this word, عَرْضُ From عَرْضَ يَعْرِضُ To be presented, to be shown. In the dictionary it is mentioned clearly. The word عَرْض is used to show a film. Ajib. Ajib, this word is used to show a film, to stage a play, to propose something to someone. In Arabic, Arbul Azya is a fashion show, galleries, television shows, performances, to a rad. That all of this which is invisible will become visible, Allah to become visible. It will appear, all these shows, all these propagandas, instruments, what? al fitan The word, now let us analyze the word fitan The word fitan means to allow, uh, to beguile, to mesmerize, to hypnotize, these shows, these mediums of propaganda will hypnotize, will control the hearts of my ummah. If we take the Arabic word and make it a isme fail, the dua, these instruments are fatinun, isme fail. Look at the dictionary, they will bewitch you. In Arabic, the word fitna means witchcraft, witchery. It will cause a jadu, a black magic over your heart where you will leave Allah. You will abandon the sunnah of your Nabi. You will abandon the Quran. You will abandon Salat and you will imbibe. You will hold on. You will stick. In this language of fitna, uh, there's a, in the Lughat, in the dictionary, sedition, where it is a language which is intended to persuade other people to oppose and establish authority. Where you will want to change that authority, where you know Allah and His Rasul is an authority, but the hearts will become so overwhelmed that they will want to change their ilah from Allah and His Rasul to Shaitan and Dajjal, Ajib Hikmah and Wisdoms. How power packed are the words of Janab Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? It was said almost 1500 years ago. It is as if it is unfolding in front of our eyes. Al-Qulub, the hearts, the hearts 
the sun outside will no more be outside, it will be inside. There, there was a time where Guna was at a specific place and you could put a pause button to it. It would happen at a specific place. It would happen at a certain time. Now Guna at any given time in our houses 24-7 we can customize sin. A person wants to commit zina in his house. Forget committing zina. He can dictate the details of his zina. Male looking for a female age 20 and under below. Description, color to the last detail. I am looking for a, B, C, and I want to commit adultery in this form here, single, foursome. In detail, he can customize his guna, and that customization is not restricted and limited. His duster khan, his variety, if he decides, he can search the entire earth and be guna specific. Can we imagine the magnitude of these words? Kal Hasir. Nabi Alaihissalam is now giving us an example, like how a reed mat, udan udan, one stick is woven over another stick, like that. The fitness will be presented. Previous ulama could make an interpretation, the weaving, like how fast he weaves, fitness will come. Or like how a person lies down on a mat and there is marks that are imprinted. These fitness will imprint on his heart. More than that, like how a weaver makes designs, like how pixels, pictures are displayed uh, a pixel originally is picture to picture how pictures are arranged and sorted out it's called pixels pix cell pix is from the word picture and el is from element it's the smallest single component of a digital image we take a number of these pixels combined will give us a resolution Thousands of the, the tiny pictures combined will make an image. The more pixels, the more clearer this fit in. This black hole will suck you up. Three megapixels means three million pixels. So we have the vertical and the horizontal. If it's uh, uh, three megapixels, for example, 640 pixels, side by side horizontal 480 pixels top to bottom Rudan, Rudan. like that in today's time Samsung has developed technology which different types of technologies are out there we have a 108 megapixel camera on our phones that means 800 108 million pixels whether it was initially cathode ray tube CRT or DLP digital light processing to plasma to LCD to OLED to organic light emitting diodes from HD, FHD, UHD from 60 to 70 to 85 inch Samsung has just made a 292 inch 8K screen can we imagine it? 24 feet, you're looking at literally height wise 5.5 meters, length wise 7.4 meters. And can we imagine radiating on 8K? We're looking at 33 million pixels. These fitten are in our houses. It's getting better, enhanced, and bigger. So this fitna will be dissolved in the hearts to fitna al-qulub. 
Like the example was, somebody gave out a tender. One person said, for $3,000, detailed breakdown, 1,000 for my work and labor, one for my employees, 1,000 for the materials. Second person said 2,000 each, so 6,000. Another person said 9,000. They asked him, what's the $9,000 for? He said 3,000 for you, who's giving the tender. 3,000 for me, who's also part of the tender. And 3,000 to the person who did the first quote. We'll give him the job. Dajjal and Shaitan is like that. Deception upon deception. One doctor, one quack was selling anti-age miraculous cream. So people were thrilled because everybody wants to love long. They want to look young. They want to stay forever. They want to enjoy dunya. So he had a very beautiful damsel of an assistant. So one person from the crowd, now crowds were big, said, I have one question. He said, what's your question? He said, assistant, can you vouch that this man is genuine or true? She said, I cannot vouch for his genuity. He's claiming he's 250 years old and that's his age currently now. For me, I only worked with him for 93 years. Everybody was shocked and amazed that she's looking so young. They believed her. They never believed him. They believed her. He got sold out. Shaitan is like that. Let us protect ourselves. Let us protect our family. Let us protect the Ummah. Let us make a decision to change change our lives. وَآخِرُ دَعْوَانَا الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ The amal for today has been, been done before was istighfar and based on this hadith which when we complete it, it will make sense. إِنَّ لِلْقُلُوبِ صَدَأً The hearts get rusted like the rusting of metal and copper and steel. وَجِلَاءُهَا الْإِسْتِغْفَارِ if you want to purify your hearts, make an azam and a determination, you're going to make more with guna. Before we decide you want to make more with Dajjal, let us start a war against masjid and disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The daily amal we are doing, la hawla wa la quwata illa billah, 100 times morning and evening, third kalima. And thus, as much as we can read on our tongues, when Nabi alayhi salatu was salam made Mi'raj, he met Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam, and he gave the message to Nabi alayhi salam, Ya Muhammad, mur ummataka fal yukthiru min ghirasil jannah. Tell your ummah that jannah is barren land. تُرْبَتَهَا طَيِّبَ Its soil is very fertile. وَأَرْضَهَا وَاسِيَةً It's very vast. But now you need to plant the crops for akhirah. وَمَا غِرَاسُ الْجَنَّةِ What are the crops and the seeds for jannah? قَالَ لَا حَوْلَ وَلَا قُوَّةَ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ